Today I'm going to be watering an orchid that's potted in primarily sphagnum moss. And this particular guy is a rescue orchid. He's a freebie. I call him my bad hair day orchid. So um, the way I determine that my orchids are going to need to be watered is I like to use these, um, these chopsticks or you can use uh, like a bamboo skewer. And you can just use these like disposable guys. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, expensive. And I prefer these over the pencil method because I don't want to throw away my pencil. And I don't want to use a new pencil every time. And these are disposable. I don't like to reuse them because um, that way I don't have to worry about transmitting a fungus or a virus or a bacteria between my plants. So I can use this once, throw it away. And I'll kind of just put that into the medium as gently as I can. And I'll sort of let it sit there a moment. And then when I pull it out, if it's damp or it's wet or pretty moist, then I know that my orchid is fine. If it's dry or just maybe a wee bit of moisture just on the tip, then I know that my orchid is ready to be watered. Now if there's any doubt and you're not really sure, let it go another day. It's better to slightly underwater your orchid than to overwater it. So that's how I kind of gauge that. And on uh, orchids that are planted in moss, I pretty much like to do the pour through method. You can do that at the sink, but it's easier for me to show you here. And how I would do that is I'm going to get my water ready. And I like to use a uh, purified water, reverse osmosis, distilled water. I don't like to use my tap water. My tap water isn't really good. Um, you can use tap water. It's not a problem. You just want to make sure that you let it sit out for 24 hours. Um, if you're worried about it, or if you've got really good water, just go ahead and pour it on through. Uh, if you're going to be using a um, bottled water or distilled water, you want to make sure you're using a fertilizer that has added chemicals specifically designed for using those types of waters. That way you're not losing too much of the minerals the plant actually needs. And what I'll do is, typically I'll just hold it up and sort of pour through over the sink, but I don't want to cover up the front so you can't see. So I'm going to kind of do this the awkward way. And I don't like to pour over the top of, um, of the plant. I try to keep it low to the roots. And just sort of make sure that I'm getting a good, um, thorough soaking through. If I was fertilizing today, I would let it run completely through and soak it well. Then I'd run it through with fertilized uh, fertilizer in uh, a different uh, canister of water just to make sure that um, it's well watered first so that you're not you know, introducing any possible chance of um, root burn. And then I'm just going to do it a quick second time. Some people like to do it a couple of times. It just depends on, on your own personal method. You'll find out what works well for you. And you want to make sure that you let it drain thoroughly. And how I do that is I like to get a little container here with some gravel in it, set it in there, and it kind of drains right down into the gravel. And then I sort of make sure that it doesn't drain to where the water is touching the pot. You don't ever want the water touching the pot. Orchids don't like wet feet. And if you um, kind of watch that and you don't have you know too much water in there, I just leave it in there. It adds for humidity. Otherwise, I pour some of the water out and just leave some, some at the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and put him back in his spot. Pretty easy.